What's up everyone? This is Paul from the Cubicle. Today we are going to be checking out the new Waylong WRM 2021 from Moyu. The original WRM is one of my all-time favorite cubes and I still use it today as my main. When I first tried the new 2021 version, it felt a little fast and the magnets seemed a little bit too strong for me, but by adjusting them with the adjustable features, they can easily fit my turning style and I'm sure they could also fit yours as well. The best way for me to describe this cube is it seems like the original Waylong WRM, but more polished and the feeling is nicer. I have not been able to get my own WRM 2021 to set up to my liking, but I can definitely see myself using this cube as my main or backup main. If you like the original WRM, but would like a cube that feels a little bit more polished, then this cube might be right for you. Hey everyone, it's Phil. The Worm 2021 is a good cube. I like it better than the Worm 2020, but about the same as the classic Worm. Of course, the 2021 is better than the classic in certain areas like stability, but the classic also brings its own unique values and benefits. Also, as a person who strongly dislikes frosted plastic, I was happy to find out that after a couple hundred solves, the surface on the 2021 wore down and became more grippy. For settings, I liked slightly lighter magnets in this cube, so I went for setting 4, the second to lightest setting. On this subject, I don't think the magnet adjustment system was executed in the best possible way. The individual settings are hard to see and it feels laborious to have to take 24 actions in order to adjust magnet settings. The tool is also slightly uncomfortable to twist. At the end of the day, I'm glad I found a good magnet strength though. After some adjustment and gravitas lube, the cube is stable slightly blocky with a balanced feel. All in all, I think Moyu released a good cube. In my opinion, the company currently has 4 3x3s that are competition viable. RS3M 2020, Classic Worm, Worm 2020, and this Worm 2021. I'm not sure whether this will be my main, but I can say it's a very solid cube in every sense. If you want to main a Moyu cube, there are now more cubes that you can choose from. Hi, this is Steven. I like the Worm 2021 a lot. It's more stable than the 2019 version, and I find it to be more controllable than the 2020. The cube is extremely fast out of the box, but after tightening it, setting spring compression to 4, and lubing with weight 5, it became great for my turning style. My cube feels quick and tactile while remaining controllable. It's a bit difficult to see the numbers, but the adjustable magnet system on this cube is excellent. The 5 settings range from nearly unnoticeable to extremely strong, so most people will be able to find something they like. I use the second strongest setting. One issue I noticed is that the cube seems to speed up and slow down unpredictably. It could be my lube setup, but I found it to be annoying. I also prefer the incredibly smooth feel of the 2019 version, but the increased stability more than makes up for that for my solving style. Although it's not perfect, the Worm 2021 is my favorite cube right now, and I will almost definitely switch to it. Hey guys, Ro here. The Waylong WRM 2021 is a light, fast, controllable magnetic speed cube. To me, this cube feels very similar to the Waylong WRM 2020, but with a few small changes that I think are a big improvement. The first thing I notice is how much faster and smoother it feels out of the box in comparison to the 2020, which is likely due to the increased amount of primary plastic on the internals. I also really like that there is a magnet adjustment system, which is something Moyo flagships have definitely been lacking in the past. While I consider it a great upgrade compared to the 2020, I doubt the 2021 will become my main, but I'm excited to see what kind of times world-class solvers will achieve with this puzzle. Hey, it's Jules. The WRM 2021 is a cube, aside from the fact that it has the same tensioning system and feel that you'd expect from a WRM, the adjustable magnets is a welcome addition. I wouldn't say it's better or worse than its predecessors, so if you feel like the adjustable magnets is worth it and if you like the primary internals, eh, why don't you get it? It would be a worthwhile cube to get if you like those things. Otherwise, i just stick to the 2020 or the original WRM because at least it feels a little bit different. Hey everyone, Damien here. The WRM 2021 is a good speed cube. It has everything that good speed cubes are supposed to have, but for some reason, I'm just not a fan. It feels like a WRM 2020, but a little softer. I guess I just expected as much change as from the 2019 to the 2020, but it just isn't there. Now I do agree that the magnet adjustment system is cool, but that's basically standard in flagships nowadays. Moyu's just catching up. 
Overall, I think this is a good speed cube, like I said before, and I know a lot of solvers will love it and get fantastic times on it. But for me, I would say that it's just slightly better than the 2020, and I still prefer the 2019 out of all the WRMs. But let us know in the comments if you're excited for this release, and thanks for watching.